Justin Vivian Barr.
shower like a rare night leaving jasmine under a swollen summer moon. It was wrong, he thought, to relish pee the way he did, but it was his secret which he proudly carried after midnight among the one percent who had seen a lot and hadn't blushed in 15 years. There he was, sexy in the dark, a dodger with a mug of gold. The Manson women, they were like ducks cracking over corn. I immediately felt superior. AIDS, it's like a wartime now, my aunt told me a few weeks ago. She lived in France during World War II. You young people are losing friends and relatives just as if it was bullets taking them away. She was right, it's a war zone, but it's a different battlefield. It's not bullets that catch these soldiers, and those no bombs and no gunfire. These people are dying in a whisper. I have come to realize that the most painful tragedy concerning an AIDS, AIDS death has to do with something much larger than the loss of human life itself. There's a deepening horror, more grand than the world is yet aware. To see it, we have to watch closely who is being taken from us. Perhaps there is no hope left for the whole of humankind, not because of the nature of the epidemic, but because of the nature of those it strikes. These were the kind of people who lifted the quality of all our lives. Their war was against ignorance, the bankruptcy of beauty, and the truancy of culture. They were people who scorned pettiness, intolerance, bigotry, mediocrity, ugliness, and spiritual myopia. The blindness that makes life hollow and insipid was unacceptable. They tried to make us see. Shopping. I was shopping for Knockworth, but it was the end of the day at the butchers at AMP, and they were breaking down the meat section, so I settled for a frozen breakfast link. This is where I first saw Herb Eicherman watching me from the produce section, apathetically fingering the potatoes. Fire! I accidentally burned a friend's house to the ground once. The friend didn't approve. Rape and abduction. They were just three sucks looking. They were just three sluts looking for sex on the highway, the two abductors and rapists later said when asked to describe us. This wasn't the way we looked at it. Divine. What's the worst thing that can happen to me when I eat this dog shit, Divine asked, while we were sitting around the set waiting for John Waters, who was doing some interior shots. There was no question that Divine would eat the dog shit. He was a professional. It was in the script, so he was going to do it. I was trying to remember my line. We'll find out what'll happen, I said. Fame. Dear Georgia, maybe you don't remember me being such a big film star now, but we fucked about eight years ago. You were great. So was I, you should recall. Gray eyes, brown hair, blue jeans, black shirt, thick meat. I love you. Alien. I was always leaving. Every time I had a left, I had a different hair color, and I'd be standing on the porch saying goodbye to the older couple in the living room. If you leave now, you'll have no future. If you leave now, you'll be a bum. I'll be back in the fall when school starts, sir. I'll be back after the weekend. Do you want some money? No, thanks anyway. Bye. As we sped off, my friends in the car, I told my friends in the car that I was an alien to my parents. At this point, I was, it would always dawn on me that there was another problem. Not only was I an alien to my parents, but I was an alien to my friends. Bye. I gotta go!